Noah J forty five sixty nine ninety seven baby. You know this guy, a, um, a, a zombies legend, a man I used to watch. I used to watch religiously him and his little crew, bro, getting you through them shitty Easter eggs when you know you had to keep some one guy walking around with the crawlers and shit. This guy got you through it. He taught you what to do it. What's he doing these days? Oh, fucking who knows. But he's he's still doing a bit of zombies. What else he's doing? Yeah, I don't know. And now Black Ops Six Zombies is coming out. He's gonna be absolutely loaded, absolutely rocking and rolling, baby. He's gonna be laughing off his breasts, bruh. But why am I talking about Noah J sixty nine twelve forty two? Pretty good. Well, he's made a bit of a fumble, and I mean by a fumble, I mean he's just dropped a nuclear bomb at his feet. And okay, testing, testing. He cheated on his wife, apparently, and he thought, you know, this was years ago, and he was never going to come out and say anything, and now he has come out right, and said something, because everyone came out, everyone yeah. knows this guy, right? He makes this whole apology, and it's the worst thing you will ever have to sit through. Just for context, um, How sick is this mug, though? Look at that. My mum bought me it. It's fucking cool. Um, I want to let you guys know that I'm going to be reading off a script for this video, which I know feels less genuine to, like, the millionth degree, but that's the biggest fumble i think writing a script you are a streaming youtube your whole job your whole career is sort of like thinking on the spot would you not agree you know coming up being witty saying funny things when things like you know come up instantly and you're telling me you make all you have to do is make an apology you know i'm sorry i cheated on my wife uh i didn't like her soz nailed it maybe needs a bit of work um this video is so serious and important that i need to lean on something to organize my thoughts and to communicate everything properly. In the intro. <laughs> okay. So there's a lot of heaviness and it's not gonna be easy for me to talk about, um, but I think it's important for me to address this sooner rather than later and just lay it out. Um, there were two allegations against me that I'm sure pretty much all of you guys have seen by now. To be fair though, you have to, you have to give him credit. Most people these days when they get accused of stuff is usually messaging minors, so. I think we should really, really give him a pat on the back here for just, you know, cheating on his wife with someone of age. I think it's a positive. Don't you? Right? Uh, that I want to be very careful to address both of these separately. Um, so as most of you guys know, years ago I was married and I uh, met a girl and got married right out of college in Texas. And due to family values, we weren't able to live together or move in together until after we got married. In the coming months after we got married, we finally moved in and we both individually came to the realization that we were really not a compatible couple. See, <clears throat> so religion forced them together basically. Well, not didn't force them, but forced them to speed up the uh, process. They then went, hold on a minute, we don't actually like each other. And our mommy and daddy's little religious beliefs force us into a little hole that now we are in trouble. So guarantee he doesn't believe in divorce, does he? Because he's, you know, family values, this that, and the other. So instead of getting a divorce and moving on and just trying to forget about this horrible chapter you forced yourself into. Oh, I have an idea. A ding dong, a light bulb. Let's just carry on. Let's carry on until we're both so unhappy that one of us cheats and then this becomes a big farce and I've got to make the worst script, the most worst apology you know if fucking the person who wrote the marvels that's probably the worst film i've seen recently saw this script they will be fucking tossing it off that's how shit it is they think this is like gold they think they've just stumbled on an absolute gold mine baby makes logan paul's look best our lifestyles living together our wants and our needs and many more things never really matched up eye to eye but because i grew up instilled in me that divorce is never an option no matter what i try what did to make I say? things work what did i say i said that went to counseling got therapy but at the end of the day we were really just two fundamentally incompatible people and at the end of the relationship i knew i was no longer in love with this person the reason i'm bringing this up is not because i want you guys to feel sorry for me or make excuses for myself <laughs> In any capacity. He's just spent the first five minutes creating excuses for himself. We weren't compatible. I never really liked her. Religion forced us to do it. We couldn't live together unless we were married. Our parents were kind of dicks as well. But they're not excuses. Not excuses. We did well. Sounds like a fucking excuse to me, bitch. Sounds like a book of excuses. It sounds like someone using the Bible as to why they killed someone. This is just excuse after excuse after excuse and i don't feel sorry for you 
But why, 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 you know, live chat's off. Should donate a hundred to drop him when you commit I cheated on my wife. <laughs> that was poor timing. This motherfucker was real shadow man. <laughs> Playing the victim, not acknowledging when you did your long-term friend rat behaviour. Cheaters are statistically more likely to cheat. The zombies community fell apart just before BO6. As a punishment, he should do the firebow tutorial. <laughs> Dickhead. No man would cheat on his wife. It's shame how common it has become in society. There's a real bag, I mixed never bag of comments. Make excuses for this. Never make excuses for me. That's not why I'm doing this video. But because a lot of people don't know anything about my private relationship and I wanted to make the context more concrete. God, this is the worst apology I've ever fucking had to put through. Her, about her breakup with her then fiance that she has had been going through. And me, in my marriage, that I was very, very unhappy in. So we bonded through the <laughs> All these... I don't want to be here. We realized that we had feelings for each other. I know some of you guys are going to try to make excuses for me. I already see it in chat. I already am seeing like, we love you and stuff like that. And I just want to repeat, like, I'm not sharing this experience with you guys for people to forgive me. I'm not expecting people to forgive me, and I don't want to be forgiven. I need to blow my nose. <laughs> I'm so emotional. <laughs> it's so hard to see such a god. And we haven't spoken to each other in the three years since then. Nice. Well done. Thumbs up. Aren't you impressive? I made literally the biggest mistake of my life. I hate that I have to read this off the fucking script again. Exactly. You can't really care that much. If you can't honestly summarize this in one minute and go, I made a serious mistake. I cheated on the person that I really cared about. However, we are not happy. We are getting a divorce. If you just had broken up three years ago, you won't have to make this bullshit. Oh, I'm a ghost. Ooh, haunting you for the rest of your life. Shut up and move on. Cheating is disgraceful. It's horrid. Nasty work. However, there were clearly signals. <laughs> Someone set off a flare the day after you got married. You know what I mean? This is not working, hello. But because you didn't have the cajones, just go, fuck this, it's done, bitch. Ugh, should have taken some drama classes before just this. Just so, you, just so you guys know, I, I really I hate reading this, but I really needed to like organize my thoughts because I knew that this was how I was gonna feel as soon as I hit start streaming. <laughs> Look, I don't want to be a complete dick. Like, I, I do get why he's written a script, obviously. Um, maybe not script, and um, write some notes, but like, you want to keep it focused and concentrated. I do get that. I punished myself and it put me in a very, very dark place for a few years. And the reason I don't expect forgiveness from others is because I haven't forgiven myself and I know I never oh, will. Oh, boo-hoo. I ain't forgive myself and I don't expect you to forgive me either, little child. Do you understand? I do not forgive myself and I do not want your forgiveness. Then why the fuck are you making a video? Look, this is just horse shit. So this is the this is the picture. You guys can see it, right? So this is did the music. picture that was included in the video with the reasoning up here. Let me move my face cam so you guys can read this. Mini Lad was in the DJ booth, meaning that Noah specifically invited him to be there. And again, I really have to hate, hate that I have to cover this in the same video. I'm taking accountability for my actions because I don't want to detract from everything I've said so far because this is just an entirely separate thing. So this is the video from the set that you can literally go to my music YouTube channel and watch. Um, so this this is just a video of earlier in the set, 15 minutes in, and this should show the first. <laughs> just it doesn't seem right a zombie YouTuber bouncing up and down to DMB. Spin that shit. Look, it goes on forever. I don't give a fuck, no, J456. You're a little dirtbag. Clearly don't have any hope or faith. I did not watch an hour and 41. All right, I skipped to the end because I wanted to see what it was. And it's like an old zombie map. It's kind of cool. But anyway, the zombies community 
Mr. T, Lexify, now Noah J, they're just crumbling like a Jaffa cake left out in the wind in a nuclear winter. It's just vroom, vanished. Lord have mercy.